everyone. I wanted to come on here and talk about what non-duality means to me because I find myself being asked this question a lot. And I have a hard time to answer it, to be honest. But the path of non-duality to me means the most direct path possible to your true nature, your true self. And non-duality is essentially that there is no separate self, that there is only the one self experiencing all things, all at once, all connected through the lens of this physical body. And how I came about this path was a very interesting one. You know, I, I went through many different seasons of life where, you know, I found myself in my early twenties riddled by anxiety, depression, um, even suicidal thoughts because I found myself in a world where I was seeking all of this material things in order to make myself feel worthy. And so as many people do, they go out and they get, you know, they, they go out into the world and they try to get the big job and make the big money or make a name for yourself or do this or that. And it was very clear to me very early on that this is, this just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel good. So it's just like this huge void. And on top of that, you know, I always felt like I was an alien plopped down on this planet from the time I was a little kid. I was just so different, you know, too sensitive, too, too deep. Felt like no one understood me. I think a lot of people can relate to that. Anyways, I found myself in my early 20s on this um, very deep, what we'll call the dark night of the soul. And I've had several dark nights of the soul. And so that led me to meditation and spirituality. And I got really deep into all of those, you know, different spiritual practices. And I really started to identify myself as a spiritual person. I was very attached, attached is a key word here, to those spiritual practices. I was attached to the meditation. I was attached to the energy healing and how that it impacted other people and how when I had good results with my energy healings, that would make me feel good as a person. I was attached to the different stories that I told myself and I believed them to be true. And some of those stories, they made me feel really good. And some of those stories, not so good. And so what I found myself over the course of many years was I was chasing experiences. I was chasing those higher levels of experience because I would have it and I'd be like, oh, I got it know what I know what I am. I know I got this all figured out, this crazy universe where I never belonged. I got it. And then I'd lose it. I'd be like, oh man, I got to go chase it down again. I got to find it again. So like many of us, I would go like this in life, right? Of these different experiences and always chasing to arrive to the the end point, the end game where the clouds parted from the skies and everything was perfect. And I was, I guess I'm an enlightened being. I don't know what I was chasing. I was chasing some sort of higher level of consciousness, higher frequencies of experience. But what happened to me and I think this happens to a lot of people and the human experience is when you're chasing after something, you lose the point. 
And so I really felt like I spent a number of years looking away from the truth because I was chasing things outside of myself to make me whole and complete and to, you know, pretty much graduate me to the next level of consciousness. And even though some of those practices were very helpful, I can look back and say, yes, I, I think that I may have needed to go through all of that. And so there's a saying that you know, some people are like dry wood. All they need is a spark in order to know the truth. And some people are like wet wood. They require time to dry out, to be able to be ready to receive the truth. And so my friends, I was wet wood, <laughs> essentially. And it took me a long time. This journey was at least 16 years long. And it still continues, obviously. So I started down this path of non-duality and I was introduced to David Bingham and his teachings. My husband brought him to me. And my husband is a core seeker of the truth. He was never caught up in all the bells and whistles and crystals and not that anything's wrong with that. But David Bingham has many videos out there where he points to the simple truth of what we are. And he talks to people. He talks to people freely. And he's just an amazing being. He really is. And so he was the one that, after watching his videos, it just clicked. And I saw the truth of what we really are. And you call that self-realization. I saw that there was no separate self. That essentially I had, all my life, I had believed that I was a separate self. But then there was this feeling of complete beingness, complete openness, complete connection to everything. And this all transpired around the time my dad died and I was at his bedside. And then I had the experience full hand that when he passed and he left his physical body, he was part of me and I was part of him and there was no limitation to anything. Everything was limitless. And so... The path of non-duality is the direct, the most direct path, in my opinion. So right now, it's just been a matter, you know, flash forward, you know, go forward several months later. It has been a process of recognizing all the programs that I have and dropping away what is not me and resting in that infinite awareness. And as we drop away all of the programs, I'm not worthy, I need approval, I'm limited. What remains is the infinite being that we all are. So I've listened to many non-duality teachers. And I would say my, my top three favorites are David Bingham, of course, Lester Levinson, 
and John Wheeler. And it's all so simple. It's so simple that we all just don't see it. We said, no, it can't be that. It's too simple. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. So I knew when this happened to me that things would never be the same and that I would fully embrace life just as it is and, and stop trying to control it with all my programs that I've got going on. So I'd love to hear from you on your thoughts, your perception on what is non-duality. Is it the most direct path? I've always been a person that said there's many paths to God. And I do believe that to be true. But I believe, in my very humble opinion, that non-duality, for me, was the most direct path. Namaste, friends. <laughs>